Stumpa da dumpa dumpa. It's movie poopy. Hey everyone, welcome back. Is this episode eight now? Uh, this is the last episode. This is episode seven. I'm pretty sure it's episode eight, but whatever. Mm. Um, this would be episode seven. It's some weirdo hanging out at the public storage. Oh, yeah, I'm not okay. going back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Dan. We have sixty dollars again. Okay. We're gonna go invest it wisely. You're wise, chips. Whatever. <laughs> Dan, honestly, Google if like we could get anything from this or if it's just the uh, Android. I, sw I swear it's just going to be. It might be for like a quest or something. I don't know, but. Oh, fine. Okay. You looking for a fight? Okay, Google. Can you get anything from the banker in South Park, the stick of truth? That was very accurate. Oh, go mound. Um, let's see. Somebody asked pretty much the exact same question. Is investing at the bank just a scam? <laughs> the best way to get to Canada is north. The teller at the bank offers the opportunity to invest $20. Uh, uh, what's he said? Um, basically, everybody's mocking this person for even asking that question. <laughs> So nothing happened? Like, there's no probability? It's not even, like, a video game about it? <laughs> Wait, hold on. And it's not gone, as it turns out. Well, yes, this is a callback to the Margru or wherever. You can get your money back. After you gain the ability to shrink, you can go behind the counter through a mouse hole and hit the banker with your melee weapon to start combat. Once you beat him, his body will have an amount of coins on him equal to 150% of your total investment. Oh, shit. So we can actually get, like, a shit ton of money from this. Yeah. So if we just give him a bunch of money, on well, while I was not expecting to get my initial $20 investment I made near the start of the game back, when I first beat him, he had $30 on him, so I quickly reload the autosave, invested another 20 beat him, and his body had $60. Holy shit, damn, we can grind money. <laughs> That's actually amazing. Well, I don't know if you can only defeat him once, though, so let me see. Does this guy say anything about that? The upper limit on investments is $60. He will take more, but it will not increase the loot beyond $90. Dan? Oh, that's so that's pretty hot. Hey guys, grab a beer and join me for Sports Center. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to be roughly consistent. Hold on. Um. So once he proclaims you are an experienced and sophisticated investor, do not invest any more money. The maker will not respawn after you have beaten him. So this is a one-time withdrawal. So you have to invest 60 bucks with him, you'll get 90 bucks in return. But only when... Oh shit, Tom Cruise is in the closet. Really? Never coming out. Huh? Never coming out. Picture of Wendy. Stan's mud beard. A sparkly leash. And a seaman, Dan, a seaman. Wait, so you can actually increase your reward from this too by equipping things that increase your money reward. So you can increase the return of your investments to one hundred and fifty dollars. That's amazing. We should figure out how to do that. <laughs> That's really cool. Who the fuck are you? I'm gonna kill you, turd. Oh fuck! I did that. Oh, I don't even get to battle her. Oh, can you battle her? <laughs> I don't. It doesn't appear. You can. That'd be amazing, except she'll probably insta kill Shake, you. Wait, cash. Oh my god, that episode where she has her period and the whole house just fucking. Dan, the thought of a thousand truths. Oh my god, we got it. And we're just gonna sell it, aren't we? Yeah, you can't do anything with it. Oh god, we got Mar. We got Stan's dad. I just appear to be collecting underwear. I don't know what it does. Actually, no. Well, you learned how to shrink when you fight the underpants gnomes. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's so weird just seeing him there. It's so weird that I had to say that sentence. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. You should sell those druid robes. Look, it's Ky hey Kyle's dad. Welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, I didn't get the I didn't get a friend request from uh, fucking. Did he freeze? Oh no, no never mind. <laughs> you can't tell in this game. You're not an elf, so you're fine. Punch him. 
He's not. Oh wait, no, there's a Pokemon. A what? Chim Pokemon over there. See, green thing. We get. Is that? Oh wait, no. Maybe it's just grass. Yeah. Fucking, I know my Pokemon, all right? Pokemon. <laughs> I'm the Pokemon master. How does that place not have snow on it? Oh my god, it's Canadianowski. Oh, fuck. Wait, what? I think I got into a fight with kindergartners. Oh no, Jesus Christ. Oh no. Can't I just go right back home after the flight so I don't get grounded? Are they tough? <laughs> they have a shitload of hit points. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at how many hit points they have, like a hundred. Ooh, that was the most perfect throw I've ever seen. What was it? <laughs> wow, they are fucking kind of pretty strong. <laughs> because they're pirates. Because hey, they're kindergartners. <laughs> they don't have they don't have respect for rules and sportsmanship. <laughs> they don't have restraint. Why? Oh yeah, you murdered one. <laughs> so oh, weird no. seeing butters beat the shit out of a kindergarten. Shut up! <laughs> You be with Kyle's, uh, Kyle's What the brother? bitch on a cannon? I wasn't expecting a cannon. Can you get Kyle's brother as a... Uh, Ike? I think you... Yeah, I don't Ike, know. Yeah. God, I can't believe I forgot his name. It's been so long since I've watched South Park, hasn't it? God. I gotta watch the movie again. <laughs> the movie uh, doesn't hold up that well, actually. I've watched it at least 20 times. <laughs> I know it by heart. And I've watched it at least 20 times recently. And I love it to death. I am a pirate king! I am, I am a, pirate a pirate king! Ike, you fucker, get into our thing. I can't fight Ike. I want to fight Ike. I like Ike. Uh, everyone, I want to be Facebook friends with Ike! <laughs> Dan Google, can you be Facebook friends with Ike on South Park? No. Kindergartner! Ah! He's not a fighter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's not a fighter. <laughs> Oh, there's the fucking girls' room where you get locked up. Oh. <laughs> you gotta meet the- you- uh, you get abducted and you have to pretend to be a girl Well, there's for a, a bag while. over there. There's a bag over there. We'll deal with that later. Why? It looks like a cool bag. Go get it. Fuck this you. movie's really sweet. Too bad you guys can't see it. It's your Pokemon! Oh, shit. Fat <laughs> <laughs> Dactyl? Over here. Don't I'm not here to hurt you. It's not Al Gore. It's Al Gore. <laughs> you know, Al Gore. I'm super important. You just. All right, well, Dan, can we just watch South Park instead of recording? I just want to watch South Park instead. I want to record. Even though I'm tired out of my mind. I just want to watch Detective Heart of America. Now on DVD and Blu ray. Not Blu ray. You just have to burn your own Blu ray, I guess. Thank you, my friend on Facebook. This is very prestigious. You have my email now. But don't give it out to anybody. I'm super serial. Hurry! We must know if Man Bear Where did this character even come from? <laughs> Al Gore? I mean, like, he's he's not even Al Gore, let's face he it. He is Al Gore. He is. He's just he, he's Al not Gore, in the slightest. Al, Al Gore from Futurama is Al Gore. Yes, I think, if I remember correctly. He is actually. Was he voiced by Al Gore? Yeah. Al Gore's daughter wrote for fucking Futurama. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's super serial. Also, Al Gore was on The Simpsons once Welcome as Al Coffee. Gore. Coffee made with ingredients oh, supplied by local organic suppliers. I'm sorry, did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that the joke was, here. Goddamn beep! I'm sorry, Ants. I missed the joke. I just saw it. it looked like a fairly normal sentence to me. Yes. <laughs> I got that joke. I'm sorry for ruining your jokes. Oh, he's just a fucking shop. That oh, that's cool. You to be a of online. As a of Tweet, it's making me hungry. <laughs> Then we'll sell your information to local spammers. Sure, we could sell it to one of the big national spammers, but I guess we just care a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I love this fucking game so much. Whoa, what? Whoa. Okay. 
Hey, Tweak. What's this? Ah, now? The guy's thinking now? Well, there's no way, man. I have way too much to do. How am I supposed to do all this? Wait, you. Could you go get the four o'clock delivery for me? Wait, so the reason he's like that is because he drinks coffee all the time, right? He's also just super stressed. <laughs> About everything. I thought that the reason, like, his backstory was that he drank way too much of his parents' coffee. How am I supposed to do all of this? I don't... No I think all he's allowed to eat is... Or drink is coffee. I don't think that was the actual... Actual rationale. Oh, yeah, we get him as a... Oh, we gotta go to Kenny's house. We get him as a party person, right? Yeah. Yay. Will we have time to get to Kenny's house? Probably not, honestly, but... How much time do we have left? We can if we speed run this shit. Speed run! Speed run! It's the quest, the the the, da -da -da -da. the Kenny saga. Welcome to the Kenny saga. Danny edit this. I didn't edit this. Didn't edit this. I did not edit this. Cause I'm too lazy. Fuck. Goodbye. Time to stop. Night, everyone. Goodbye and doodles. Or uh, if you guys like this series, let us know in the comments and we'll continue. Because I it. really would like to just keep playing. Don't this beg game. them to play it. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Wait, we got a message from Arthur, Officer Bar Brady. It says socket. Dear Diary, today I made friends with a new kid. He was really nice. I hope he likes me too. Cool. All right. Night, everyone. Doodles. Non più dry farfalon amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Non più vrai questi paper.